my heart at the door I won't say a word They've all been said before, you know ridiculous hair I am just like so agitated with YouTube right now I don't know what the deal is but since they started their new little rule thing they are demonetizing almost every one of my videos for no reason like the very last video I posted about me cleaning the house they demonetized it and said that it was inappropriate for all advertisers for what reason and it said that it would be based off like sexual content or um, violence and I'm just like so I was going after the floor violently I mean I don't know what else to tell you so they demonetized a bunch of my videos so I'm truly PO'd right now so who knows if I will stay on YouTube very long I may try to find somewhere else to do this because that's stupid and I will not tolerate being targeted for absolutely no freaking reason and the stupid thing is is like the videos that you would think that they would demonetize um, things where I'm talking about butchering animals um, different things like that or the song ones where me and John are singing which you should be hit with copyright because I'm still singing copywritten songs mm -mm, didn't touch those just vlogs just things like Olivia getting her toe hurt or the like I said the cleaning video or you know us getting the pony different things like they're just demonetizing stupid things so I'm agitated so that being said I'm gonna fix my hair now put these kids on the bus this is the stray that showed up at our house a few days ago and he comes every morning for his breakfast and he just runs about. I named him Connor McGregor because he's always fighting. He always shows up with a new wound of some sort. And because his eyes are as green as the hills of Ireland. So, Mr. Connor McGregor shows up. He comes. He eats his breakfast. He gets his morning lovings. And then he, he shows up and throughout the day as he pleases and does what he wants. And he's just living the life. Oh, he's got his purr box going. He's a pretty boy. So I just got back from Tractor Supply. I went and had to pick up a couple of things. Um, and I'll show you what I got. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I got me a big bale of straw and some more rabbit feed. My nice little feeding corner now. Um, and the reason why is because now the nights are in the low 50s, high 40s. So it's a little too cold for my taste. So what I done was I put straw in their stalls so this is willow and she's only got two babies with her and the reason why is the baby that i decided i'm actually going to bring willow to the conference i am selling willow um she and i she's just not what i want in my breeding program anymore and you will learn one thing with homesteading that's a hard lesson to learn but you have to take your heart out of what you're doing um, you have to be practical and if i'm practically not wanting to breed a black rabbit anymore then i don't need to have her um, today our neighbor brought us a new bunny. This is a mini Rex. I think he said her name is Ara Arabella. Um, she's about seven months old. She's breeding age. Um, but she actually is being beat up by their rabbit. So she's still, she's got a gorgeous coat. So I've brought her in here. I have Luna, Eleanor, new baby. They've been fussing a little bit, but nothing, no severe fight. It's not a fight. It's just a little skirmish that they're doing, and that's totally normal and natural. You're about to see one probably right here. Um, and that's only because this is a new animal, and female rabbits are very territorial. This baby I went ahead and took away from her mama, um, and she now lives with these girls. As I wanted to go ahead and introduce them while she was young because whenever uh, I sell Willow, I wanted her to already be introduced into her colony so this is the colony of four and they will live together forever and ever Woo! she's excited she's never seen this much space she's been kept in a cage but her coat she's got a, she's like no lady you're not touching me um whoop they've been kind of all running around wanting to fuss with each other and be crazy that's just normal it'll take them a day or two to get used to each other there's not real any real fighting going on if you're wondering why elsa is over here in the corner that is because she sticks her head through to eat to keep the other chickens 
from beating her up. She is not stupid. She's three days away from hatching these babies. I've got her in a separate little pen um, out of the nest so that nobody gets hurt. And she's got little goodies in there. If you're wondering why they're all scratching around and being crazy, it's not just the fact that they're scratching and being crazy. There's actually uh, scratch grains on the floor. There's mealworms on the floor. There's grit on the floor. I make the floor as natural as possible. They're not used to seeing each other. She's always kept separated, so they're trying to establish some dominance. We got a lot of dominant stuff going on today. Last but not least, these guys are getting really big. Oh my goodness, good morning. Good morning, little chunkies. And because there's only two of them, holy moly, are they chunky. Holy moly, are they chunky. Here's the other one. Come here, let me see you. Come here, let me see you. Look how cute. They're almost a week and a half old. Their eyes are starting to open already. So they will be coming to the conference as well. So I will be bringing those two um, and Willow and a couple of rabbits. I will be bringing Trinket's babies. So if you guys are interested in Trinket babies, they'll be there too. I'm so excited. So Butter, what was the pit of your day? What was the worst part? The jerks and the boys, they, they've been calling me um, the elf word and the B word all the time. Did you tell Miss Malik? You did. I'm so proud of You're proud of him. I don't go to school. No, you stay home with Mama. You're too little. Yeah. Yeah. What was your hit, Mara? What was the worst part of your day? A fight. A fight? Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> what was the peak of your day, Butter? What was your favorite part of the day? Um. About getting points. You got points? You won 12 points for your house? Yeah. Oh, what yeah. House are you in? What house are you what in? What house are you in? Here, fist bump. What Yours. house? Are you in black, yellow, yellow? You're in yellow house? Darn, I'm in black. I don't, I don't, I don't okay, get, what I don't. It was your peak, Mara? Getting to come home and spend time with you. Oh, you little suck up. <laughs> we are still having a little bit of issues with some bullies. I actually talked to uh, the bus driver. She called me. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to end up having to deal with some bullies, aren't we? Yeah. Mama don't care, seven or not. I'm gonna knock him in the nose. Yeah. Let's see Shut the gate. Can you spot the new money? The one over there. Which one? The, the one that one. That one? That's Arabella. That one? Yep, ain't she cute? Yeah. She's Olivia. cutie. You wanna see something? Wait, who is he? That's Cricket. Cricket, dang it. No, it's this one. This one. Whoa. Is it Cricket or Cricket? That's Cricket. Dang it. Dang it. Leave her alone now. I'm going to put um, Tink Tink on my shoulder and see. Oh, Tinky is laying on edge. You can't put nothing on Tink. I see her. I see her. Oh, he's scared. He's seeing jump. Yeah. Livy, quit chasing the chickens. Matilda. Be careful. She breathes. Don't drop it. <laughs> Don't yell at her. Come here, Matilda. Now we got you. Be super gentle. Aw. So cute. so cute. Yeah. No, Matilda. Is she little? Can I hold Elsa? Not right now. Let's leave her alone. You doing? Are you eating grass? Really? Come on, hippo. So with that, I'm gonna head in the house. I'm gonna cook dinner. Wake John up for the day. Cooking spaghetti. So love you guys. Make sure you check out all of our social media links down below. And until tomorrow, I love you. Bye. Bye.